I had a really strong craving to play this game again since it had been, since it had been quite some time. Figure, let's just go ahead and play it. Now that Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter is finished, I can play something else. And probably do another RPG as well. So we are playing the original Nintendo 64 version. This is not the a uh, rare replay version, which is probably would probably be better, but I don't have an Xbox, so there's that. Uh, so that means that when we're collecting the notes, we're gonna have to make sure that we get them all in one go, because it does not save our notes if we die. So, fun stuff! Yahoo! Yahoo! Might take some getting used to trying to use this on, play this on my new controller since I'm using a retro bit controller. I'm trying to save my original N64. <laughs> Who's nicest looking wench? <laughs> Small. She's the prettiest girl of all. Well, we'll see about that. One of the rare instances of Bronte not rhyming. An adventure, huh? Well, there he is. Brother, would her brother be flying around in the sky? Think you need new glasses or goggles? Soon be ugly. What a pity! Yeah. 
Jackson fight my little bear. Bigger underwear. Somebody, help! So you'll probably need some training before you go up there. I'm already good enough. So if you bother Bottles by talking to him after you've already agreed that you don't need his help, he'll, if you do it repeatedly, he'll threaten to uh, delete your save file. You might even do actually do it if you're really persistent, I think. Okay, so this doesn't feel too bad to control so far. Like this. It's weird with this game. I rented it growing up from Blockbuster. But I never actually bought it until years later. Is this the tree with the honey pumpkins? Yes. So uh, I had Banjo Tooie, but I didn't actually own Kazooie, which was weird. I did eventually get it years later. I, I love this game as a kid, it was so much fun. And you know, going to like Treasure Trove Cove and like inputting uh not just not just the Cheeto Cheetos codes, but like actual cheats. Like wishy washy banjo. To turn him into a washing machine. That was fun. I think if you use too many, grunt then Grunty threatened to destroy your save file as well. I th oh, I, I think those were some of the He kept opening the world's without spending chickens. Yeah, it's funny, I can still remember some of the cheat codes. Give the bear lots of air for infinite air. Wishy washy banjo for the washing machine. Don't be a dumbo, go see mumbo. Uh, for like infinite mumbo tokens, I think. Those are the main. It, it, it's astounding that I still remember some of those codes to this day. Got all the honeycomb pieces, so we can climb up Sparkle Mountain. Be nice once we get the talent shot. Speed things up a bit. Go into Gruntilda's lair.
sorry, Glungo pushed that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. But you just said you were the most beautiful in the land. Now you changed your mind and you said you're ugly? Make up your mind, woman. There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins! Mr. Jiggy! Now we're getting jiggy with it! was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. We'll see about that. Five. We rescue all five, we get a jiggy. Music notes are used to open uh, Grunty's spell doors within her lair. And then Mumbo's tokens are for the shaman Mumbo, so that he can work his magic. That enemy there, that bull, it's got the greatest, one of the greatest names ever. It's just called Big Butt. I think we should leave Congo. At least until we get our abilities. One of the most useful abilities in the game. Now search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Jiggies obviously are for opening up the worlds. Yeah, the talent shot just is just useful for other games. It speeds you up. Good stuff. just yet. 
But we do need to come in here to get something. Who are you calling ugly? Who are you calling pinhead? We just need to pick up that mumbo token. The rest of the slopes in there are too steep, even for a talent shot. Let's get the goodies on this Thanks for the orange conga. <laughs> bottom C button instead and you can shoot them out from behind. <laughs> Exciting, huh? There's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Let's go deal with Corey. <laughs> Gotcha. Five Mumbo tokens now, which means we have enough to have Mumbo do his magic. Now these grunt there's there's one of these grunty switches in every stage. Make sure you ground out them. So it makes a jiggy in here. Now back to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
by Mr. Grumble. Mumbo practice needed. So once you pay the cost for the initial transformation, then you don't you never have to pay it again if you want to transform again. Yeah. not to touch any enemies like this, because we don't have a means of defending ourselves in this form. Let's get those shorts. I want them. They're comfy and easy to wear. Hey, big butt. Grab 
by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Damn, Jars. That's his brother. <laughs> Open the world door. Baddies escape and roam once more. True. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Yeah, but I'm ready. Magic culture. Find two the same color to create a short And this here is Rentilda. Up down here to help you defeat that old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. So, whenever you find Rentilda, make sure you talk to her because she's going to give you three answers to a quiz question later on in the game that pertain to Grunty. They're completely randomized every single new game, so um, you're definitely going to have different answers from what I'll have, for example. So, it's probably best you just write them down. <laughs> Brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese. Toothpaste. Washes her hair with rancid milk. And she gets her clothes from the witch's warehouse. Right, so that's all she has for us. Well, two treasure trove. Code. Let's go in here real quick. So that is not the same color. That's not the just activated color. Lucky you! I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. We don't need to go to the top part just yet. Join me now and jump dump the bear. That little backpack, then I'll wear it. So here's another Brentilda location. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at which school? I also know that Putrid Parrot Puke is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is Gruesome Green. Well, 